What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build or how to model a site embedded amphitheater. So that's an amphitheater that's kind of embedded into the site, into the terrain, into the kind of the landscape and I'm just going to be showing you all of the steps in Revit that are necessary to create something like this. Now this idea I got from a comment, so one of you left a comment in the comment section in the videos saying can you model this? And actually, at that time, I was binge watching the Rome series with my girlfriend, and I was like, yes, it's commonplace back then to have all of these amphitheaters all over the place, so why not show how to make that in Revit? So it was kind of good timing, and also I think it's an interesting topic. It explores building amphitheaters and you know, seating, and also it explores adjusting the topography, so I think it's a good topic. Anyways, before we get into that, if you want to learn more about Revit, I have a website, BalkanArctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video. There, I have over 100 hours of content where I go slowly step by step and explore each of Revit's complex topics. I cover beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level topics. I go really slowly and explain everything in depth. And also it's easy to navigate and find exactly what you're looking for. So if you're interested, make sure to check that out. Also, if you want my Revit project files, like this file that we're going to be creating today, as well as any of my other Revit project files, all of that is available on my Patreon page, which is the second link in the description, just below the video. And finally, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I make useful Revit tutorials each week and make sure to like this video. It helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Okay, without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's immediately get started by going here to new. And then for the template file, I'm just going to choose my architecture design template. And if you want to check out both of my templates, you can find them on my website, balkanarctic.com. And that's going to be the third link in the description. So let's just click OK here. And then let's let Revit start right up. OK, so now uh, I'm just going to go here to the site plan. And then uh, here we're going to be creating the site plan for our amphitheater. Uh, now the reason uh, that I'm going to be creating the site first and then the actual seating is well because that's the natural order of things. It would be much easier to create the seating first and then the site because then you can kind of fit the site around your seating but in real life you wouldn't have that luxury so that's the approach that we're going to be using, the more realistic one. So let's go here to mask and site and then let's go to topo surface and uh, make sure that you're in the site plan for your topo surface and then and pretty much for the entirety of this tutorial because it does make uh, sense and it's a lot easier uh, here. Okay, so let's go here to place point and then for the elevation just go and start off with zero and then I'm just going to create a series of points, perhaps like that, maybe we can Kind of center it like this. Okay, perfect. Now you want to select all points that you have created and then you want to go here to copy and then you want to copy it once over here. Perfect. Uh, now while they're still selected, uh, you can go here to elevation and let's set this one up to, let's actually leave this one at zero as well. And then when we copy it for the second time, like this, this one can go at, let's start with uh, 100 centimeters. There we go. Now let's select all of them again, go to copy. This one will be at 200 centimeters. Make sure to click here first, 200 centimeters. Perfect, and then let's go to copy. And then for this one, we can say 250. And then let's copy this one again and just leave it at 250 there. Perfect, okay. So this is what we have. I'm just going to hit finish and perhaps open up the default 3D view just to see what we have created. Okay, so now it's time for modeling the actual amphitheater. So what you want to do next is move back to the site plan, zoom in a little bit. So this line here is marking out the kind of the zero uh, location. So uh, the slope starts off from this line here. So what you want to do is go to architecture and then I'm going to be modeling this whole thing as an in-place component. Uh, you can uh, model it as, I don't know, like stairs or something like that. I prefer the in-place component. I think it's the kind of the quickest way, but feel free to choose what works for you. So let's go here to component 
and then go to model in place. And then here we can uh, have it as, I don't, I don't know, do we have something like seating? Yeah, we don't. So you can go with, I don't know, like either floors or furniture or because I'm not sure, I'm just going to leave this one as a generic model if I can only find it. Let's see, there we go, generic models, click OK. And we can just, well, let's, let's just leave it to generic models one, click OK, and there we go. Okay, so the first step is to kind of create the, the seating. So it's pretty straightforward. We only need the seating and then the stairs. Uh, now, the quickest way to do something like this, in my opinion, is the sweep. Uh, and just go here to sweep and you can go to sketch path. And then we can kind of mark out you know, the bottom of it. So I can go here to arc and then start from here. This is 1500. So this is like... 15 meters. Yeah, that sounds all right. Maybe even too large. Let's go with 10 meters. I think that's more than enough. And then we can just create an arc that looks like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Go to the 3D view. Yeah, that looks okay. And then we can just hit finish here. And now we can create the profile. So you want to go here to edit profile and then you zoom in and then you can start modeling this. So you want to go like this 40 centimeters up and then you can go out perhaps 70 and then 40 again, and then 70, just giving enough room for people to sit and then enough room for people kind of behind them to walk by. So again, 40, 70, 40, 70 and so on till you can create that. So we can extend it a little bit further here at the back. So in total, let's see, this is 16. Ah, let's do one more step perhaps like that. There we go. So this should be 70. Yes, it is. And now when I measure this one to the ground, it's 200. So that's perfect. And then, as I said, I'm just going to extend this a little bit like that, go down perhaps 20 centimeters. And then we can follow the line of the stair. Now, the easiest way to follow that would be just to simply create a line like this. Select that, go to move, and then just move it like that. There we go. Perhaps place it like this. One more horizontal line here. And then simply use trim and extend to fix this all up and kind of complete that shape. There we go. Now, you can play around with this if you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. There we go. Perfect. Hit finish finish again. And this is what we get. Okay, it looks really cool. Uh, so I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And now it's just time to create the stairs. Now it's really up to you how you want to model those uh, stairs. What I prefer to do is go back here to the site plan, zoom in like this. And then uh, I'm just going to go here to create extrusion. And then I'm going to use pick lines like this, then give it an offset of something like 0.3 or sorry, 30 centimeters, and then give it that offset, perfect. And then here we can just do one straight line. Oops, make sure to get rid of that offset and just go like this. And one more here. Now the distance here, yeah, we can leave it at 100 meters. Sorry, <laughs> 100 centimeters. 100 meters would be way too long. Uh, then trim and extend, fix this portion up and that's exactly what we want to have. So we can hit finish. Uh, now here, go to the 3D view. So you can see this is quite high. I like to have this one at 20, so can have the, the height. And then you just want to repeat that uh, as many times as necessary until you get to the top. So for the second one, you go to create extrusion, and then you go to set work plane. Uh, now for, uh, for this, you want to go to pick a plane and then you want to pick this work plane here. See the one that's kind of the first step or the first seat, first row of seating. And then you use pick lines here. Again, the same process, uh, 30 centimeters like that. Then use the lines, just get rid of the offset. There we go, like this and here and then just trim and extend to fix that up. Uh, now here again for the extrusion end, make sure to set it to 20, hit apply, finish, go to the 3D view, and that's the second one. And then you basically just repeat the whole process. So I'm just going to skip that part as it's uh, fairly repetitive.
And here, as you can see, I have modeled all of them. And uh, I'm just going to make a quick selection like this, go to the site plan. And I just want to mirror this to the other side so we can have like a stair on both sides. So uh, I'm going to use the uh, mirror draw axis. Then you just find the center here and draw a vertical line. And that's going to just copy it to the other side. And that's exactly what we want to see. And finally, before finishing, uh, you want to go here to join geometry. Uh, make sure to check multiple join, select first this main shape, and then you want to add each step. Now you see how when you click, as you can see, kind of in, it embeds it. It makes it all like one piece of geometry. And that is what we want to see because, well, it looks a lot better and nicer, like it's all solid concrete or something like that. Uh, finally, you can change the material if you want. So you can select that, go here, and then change it to something. I, I'm just going to use the default material because it g looks good enough. Here, as you can see, I, I usually set it up to white on my templates, so it looks nice and clean. Okay, so once we have finished this, we can see the back here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And then it's just finished model. Now, the tough side of this whole thing is to make sure that it fits in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the site plan, select the site, and then go into edit surface. Now, what we do know is that the top of this whole thing is at two meters. So what I'm going to do first is make sure to kind of align the top. So let's go here to place point. And then instead of using two, uh, two meters or 200 centimeters, let's go with something a little bit smaller. So let's go with 190 because I still want to have like a, this a, a little bit above the ground. So I'm just going to go here to this corner, click once, click here, click here, click here. And then you want to go all the way around, make sure that they are close enough together, but obviously not too much like that. And finally one here. Perfect. Now you go to the 3D view and you see it's a complete mess, but that's okay. We're going to be fixing it. Don't worry. Okay. So once this is done, let's go back to the site plan. And at this point, I do suggest going here to uh, the, just the, all of the visual styles and checking the wireframe. Now you can see kind of the bottom of this. So you want to switch next to zero. As you can see, this one is zero here. And then you want to go just a little bit on the inside. So start from here and then you can go like that. See, I'm just keeping it a little bit towards the inside, going all the way around. Just like that. Finally, a few more here. And then the last one can stay here. There we go. Perfect. So now we can go to the oops, I've accidentally placed one here. Let's go back. There we go. Let's go to the 3D view. And you always want to double check in the 3D view. Now here we uh, seem to have a little bit of a mess uh, just because these are so far apart. Revit has kind of made this way too large. So the next step will be to go back to the site plan. And while we're still, still here at zero, I'm just going to go like this. There we go. And the same thing goes here, perhaps a few. Ah, like that. Go to the 3D view. And now it looks a lot nicer. Now still, these seem to kind of be coming out here. And as you can see, if you were standing here, you can simply fall and you don't want that for your audience. So the next step will be again to go here to the site plan. I'm actually going to be moving this these two a little bit towards the outside. Same thing here just like that. So we just give it a little bit more space. Move this out like that. So these are at 100 centimeters. So move those all the way out, perhaps like that. And then we have to add these that are at 200. So for that, you can just simply start bringing these closer in. And then you can go and add more points. So just go to 200 or sorry, that was 190, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And then place one here, perhaps just a few more, just to make it kind of a natural curve around this. And now go back to the 3D view. Okay, now this is starting to look really, really good. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with the way this turned out so far. So you can keep adding points, but so far, 
I'm quite happy with this. I don't think it's necessary. One thing that I would do is just select this point and move it in a little bit closer here. See how then it masks that little opening? Same thing on this one. So here we get this little gap. And if I just move this one closer in, as you can see, it blocks that out. And that's what you want to achieve. And here, as you can see, we have that just a little step. I, I, I like that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. I'm quite happy with this. So let's go here to modify or edit surface. Hit finish there. And let's turn this into realistic. Uh, oh, I have to make, change the template. Okay, architecture design template. So I'm uh, just going to make a change here and set the template to none, which is going to allow me to go here to change this to realistic. There we go. This is what we get. And then finally, uh, just one more small modification will be to uh, go here to Massing Insight and go to perhaps subregion. And then we can model a subregion here. So let's go to Site. Let's use, yeah, find the center. There we go. And now we can create like a simple circle. And yeah, just like that go back to the 3d view and now we have like a small sub region here and then for that sub region what I'm going to do is uh, just go and change the material so let's go here to material and do we have something like sand let's see oh here we go we have sand and it looks much nicer so we have that little gap now uh, these lines uh, they're really useful in a lot of cases uh, they're basically uh, the darker lines are showing you where the zero is at let me go see here the added boundary okay that's not going to help uh, oh or maybe it will if I go to edit boundary and make this just a tad smaller let's try 505 okay it's less let's try again Let's try 500. Okay, we made them disappear. Uh, but one uh, little tip that I wanted to give you is if you want to get rid of these dark lines, if you don't like them, you can always go here to model site, open that up, and uh, here for the kind of the main contour lines, you can just uncheck that. And if I hit apply, as you can see, they will no longer be that dark lines and then if you want to get rid of the contour lines altogether you can go back here and I think if you just select this and hit delete yeah so it just removes them completely so uh, that's kind of up to you I, I personally don't like this I, I like to have some contour lines but I do realize that those dark ones can look kind of odd so if you don't like those uh, uh, feel free to uh, to, to remove them. Uh, so there we go. That's how we can create this site embedded amphitheater. I, I think this looks really, really good. It's not that complicated, but the result is really kind of fun and it looks cool. So there we go. I, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, and uh, make sure to tell me in the comment section below if you did. Uh, make sure to like this video if you're interested in my courses and uh, my project files, all of that is uh, available in the description. So just follow the links in the description of this video. And of course, make sure to subscribe because I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.